In this video, we are going to learn about the River Ganga and its right bank tributaries. I am going to show you the exact place of their origin to the place where they drain and also in between a few important places where the rivers pass by. Just to give this video some structure, the timestamps are available in the description. If you want to skip over and save some time, please do that. Alright then, without any further ado, let's begin. First we will look at the river Ganga. Ganga actually starts from a place called Dev Prayag. At Dev Prayag, the two rivers that is river Bhagirathi and river Alakananda joins and that's how river Ganga is born. Now river Bhagirathi originates from a place called Gaumuk, which is the Gangotri glacier in Uttarkashi district of the state of Uttarakhand. Now this region is around 35 km away from the Tibet border. The Gangotri glacier is one of the largest in the Himalayas. The glacier is about 30 km long and 2 to 4 km wide. You can imagine how much of water it can produce. Anyhow, the Bhagirathi initially flows in the southwest direction and through the Uttarkashi district. After reaching the town of Dharasu, the river turns southeast and flows towards the city of Tehri. Here the Bhagirathi river is held by the Tehri Dam. It is the highest dam in India. Basically, it's a hydroelectric power plant. The river continues to flow southeast and reaches the town of Dev Prayag, where it joins the river Alakananda. Now we will see the route of river Alakananda. The river Alakananda originates from the Satopanth Glacier and Bhagirathi Khadak Glacier. These glaciers are part of Greater Himalayas. The river initially flows southeast and after reaching the village of Mana, it turns south and heads towards the holy town of Badrinath. After flowing for about 20 to 25 kilometers, it reaches the town of Vishnu Prayag. From here on, we will come across five sacred river confluence, which are considered holy sacred places of the Hindu religion. Now, these places are called Panch Prayag. It is a set of five holy river confluences or we can say meeting places in the Garhwal side of Uttarakhand. Right now we came across the first Prayag which is Vishnu Prayag. This is the place where Dhali Ganga river and Alakananda river meet. Dhali Ganga river originates near Nanda Devi National Park. It joins the Alakananda river near the town of Vishnu Prayag. So always remember this is the first of the Panch Prayag. From Vishnu Prayag, the Alakananda river flows towards southwest direction for about 40 kilometers and reaches the town of Nand Prayag. This is the place where the Nandakini river joins the Alakananda river. So this is the second place of the Panch Prayag. From Nand Prayag, the Alakananda river continues to flow southwest. In about 15 kilometers, it reaches the town of Karna Prayag. In this place, the Pinda river joins the Alakananda river. Now this is the third place of the Panch Prayag. From Karna Prayag, the Alakananda river takes the western direction. In about 30 km, it reaches the town of Rudra Prayag. And in this place, the Mandakini river joins the Alakananda. The Mandakini river originates from Kedarnath and it meets the Alakananda river near Rudra Prayag. This is the fourth place of the Panch Prayag. From Rudra Prayag, the Alakananda river continues the southwestern course. In about 45 to 50 kilometers, the Alakananda river reaches the town of Dev Prayag. Now this is the last and the fifth holy place of the Panch Prayag. At Dev Prayag, the Bhagirathi river and the Alakananda river joins to form river Ganga. And that is how River Ganga is born. From Dev Prayag, River Ganga continues to flow towards west and reaches the city of Rishikesh. The moment it passes the city of Rishikesh, I want you to understand this. Here the River Ganga leaves the Shivalik Hills, which are also called the lower mountains of Himalayas. So the River Ganga leaves the Shivalik Hills and flows into the plains of northern India. Here you will also find the Rajaji National Park. Basically the Ganga after passing the town of Rishikesh, it flows through the Rajaji National Park and reaches the town of Haridwar. 
which I believe is around 20 to 25 kilometers. After reaching the town of Haridwar, river Ganga flows towards south. In about 20 to 25 kilometers, the river reaches the Uttarakhand and Uttar Pradesh border. Further, the river continues to flow along the Uttarakhand and Uttar Pradesh border for about 20 kilometers before it completely enters into the state of Uttar Pradesh. After entering the state of Uttar Pradesh, river Ganga continues to flow south. Ganga enters the state of Uttar Pradesh from the district of Bijnor. The river continues to flow south for about 150 kilometers and then starts taking a turn towards the southeast direction. The river then reaches the city of Kanpur. Kanpur is a large city in the state of Uttar Pradesh. Ganga river continues to flow in the southeastern direction. In about 200 kilometers, the river reaches the city of Prayagraj, which is also called Allahabad. Now Prayagraj is a very sacred place. This is also the place where the famous Mahakumbh Mela takes place in every 12 years. In this place, you will find the merging of three rivers. These three rivers are Ganga, Yamuna and Saraswati. Although physically you can only see the merging of river Ganga and Yamuna. People say that the third river Saraswati flows underground and some even say that it used to flow once upon a time, now it's dried up. But anyhow it is due to the confluence of these rivers, this place is named as Triveni Sangam and it is an extremely sacred place for the Hindus. Now as I said physically you can only see the merging of river Ganga and Yamuna. That means Yamuna is the westernmost tributary of river Ganga. We'll learn about river Yamuna in a while. Now the river Ganga takes the eastern course and flows through the city of Mirzapur. After reaching the city of Mirzapur, in about 60 to 65 kilometers, river Ganga reaches the city of Varanasi. After Varanasi, the river heads towards the town of Ghazipur. From Ghazipur, in about 35 kilometers, river Ganga reaches the border of Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. The river then continues to flow along the eastern Uttar Pradesh and Bihar border for about 100 kilometers. Finally, the river Ganga fully enters into the state of Bihar from the district of Ara. But actually, it flows in between the district of Ara and south district of Chhapra. The Ganga splits Bihar into two parts. These are North Bihar and South Bihar. The river flows right through the capital city of Patna and then Begusarai and finally reaches the extreme eastern part of Bihar and Jharkhand border. Ganga enters the state of Jharkhand from the Sahib Ganj district of Jharkhand. In the state of Jharkhand, the Ganga flows along the northeastern border of Jharkhand for about 70 to 75 kilometers. Ganga enters West Bengal near Raj Mahal and then flows in a southeasterly direction. It divides into two parts near the town of Faraka in Murshidabad district. Basically, now River Ganga becomes a distributary. In the beginning, it originated from tributaries and now it becomes a distributary. The Faraka Barrage was created by India in 1975 to divert water from the Ganga River to the Bhagirathi Hooghly River system. That means one branch of River Ganga enters Bangladesh as the Padma River, while the other flows through West Bengal as the Hooghly Bhagirathi River in southern direction. The Hooghly River passes the towns and cities of Murshidabad, Nobadweep, Kolkata and Howrah. After that, it reaches the city of Haldia, which is part of Midnipur district. And finally, the Hooghly River empties into the Bay of Bengal, near Sagar Island. Now that we know the actual part of the River Ganga, it's time to know about the important right bank tributaries. The first one is Yamuna River. Yamuna is also called as Jamuna River. The source of Yamuna lies in the Yamunotri Glacier. It is 40 to 50 km west of Gangotri Glacier. Gangotri is the place where the river Bhagirathi originates. Initially, Yamuna River flows in the southwestern direction towards the town of Kalsi, which is at the Uttarakhand and Himachal border. The river flows along the Uttarakhand and Himachal border for about 30 kilometers and exits the Himalayan foothills of Uttarakhand. 
It then flows along the Himachal and Uttar Pradesh border for about 5 kilometers. After that, it enters into the Indo-Gangetic plain and flows along the northwestern border of Uttar Pradesh and Haryana for about 200 kilometers. Yamuna River enters Delhi at Palla village. After that, it continues to flow along the Delhi and Uttar Pradesh border for about 15 kilometers before it fully enters into Delhi. From Delhi onward, Yamuna gets polluted due to discharge of waste water. The river then heads towards the city of Noida in Uttar Pradesh and continues to flow along the Uttar Pradesh and Haryana border in the southeastern direction. The river then reaches the city of Mathura and then towards the city of Agra. Here is Taj Mahal. It's on the western side of Yamuna. In the Itawa district of Uttar Pradesh, River Chambal meets the river Yamuna. The Chambal River is one of the major tributaries of Yamuna River. In about 10 kilometers, another river by the name of Sindh meets the Yamuna. Yamuna River continues the southeasterly course and heads towards the city of Hamirpur. Here another river by the name of Betwa joins the Yamuna River. After flowing for about 50 to 60 km in the same direction, the river reaches the village of Chilla near Fatehpur district of Uttar Pradesh. Here another river by the name of Ken joins the Yamuna River. From Fatehpur district, Yamuna heads towards the city of Prayagraj, which is also called Allahabad. And here the Yamuna River joins the Ganga and becomes the tributary of Ganga. The second right bank tributary of River Ganga is Son. The Son originates near Amakantak in Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh border. It originates in the eastern side of the place where Narmada River originates. Son River initially flows 40 km north in the state of Chhattisgarh and then enters into the state of Madhya Pradesh. As soon as it enters in the border of Madhya Pradesh, it flows in the northwestern direction towards the district of Shadol. Here the Son River becomes the source of the Bansagar Dam, which is a multi-purpose river valley project. The river then flows towards the northeastern direction. In about 20 kilometers from the Bansagar Dam, Banas River joins the Son River. The Son River continues to flow northeast. In about 100 kilometers, the Gopad River joins the Son River. From here, in about 40 to 40 kilometers, the Son River enters into the state of Uttar Pradesh. The moment Son River enters Uttar Pradesh, you can see that it's running parallel to the river Ganga in north. At the town of Chopan, in Sonbhadra district of Uttar Pradesh, the Rihand River joins the Son River. From the town of Chopan, in about 20 kilometers, another river by the name of Kanhar joins the Son River. Son River continues to flow eastward and reaches the tri-junction border area of Uttar Pradesh, Jharkhand and Bihar. The river continues to flow along the Bihar and Jharkhand border for about 50 to 60 kilometers. In between, the Koyal River also joins the Son River at the border of Bihar and Jharkhand. From here, the Son River takes the northeastern course and heads towards the capital city of Patna, where it finally joins the river Ganga. The third right bank tributary of river Ganga is Damodar. It originates near Chandwa village in Latehar district of central Jharkhand. It flows in the eastern direction and heads towards the city of Bokaro, where the river becomes the source of the Tenughat reservoir. The river continues to flow eastward and reaches the eastern border of Jharkhand. The river then continues to flow along the Jharkhand and West Bengal border for about 35 kilometers. As soon as it enters the state of West Bengal, the river takes a southeastern course and passes through the cities of Asansol, Durgapur and Bordaman. Upon reaching the city of Bordaman, the river takes a south bend and meets the Hooghly River near southwest of Kolkata. So these were the main right bank tributaries of River Ganga. In the next video, we will learn about the left bank tributaries of River Ganga.